Hey guys, happy day 113 captain's log, start date July 6th, 2020. Today's Monday, and as I always say, Monday can be a fun day. Oh, you know, someone made fun of me the other day because I still had my sticker here, um, which is kind of funny because I do have some older hats that I left the sticker on. Uh, hats now are, you know, 25 to 50 bucks each. I have some hats that are like 699, 1299s. You can tell how old those hats are. Uh, but anyway, wanted to show off some new gear. My brother, uh, as you guys may know, I've got a lot of family back in the Big D, Detroit, Michigan. And my brother from time to time will pick up some things. This is a classic Al K line jersey. Can you guys see that? And uh, he picked me up one as well. So uh, thank you, my brother from the same mother. Um, yeah, I wanted to show this off today. This hat I've had for a while, but uh, I think it made a nice ensemble. Um, anyway, hope you guys had a nice long weekend. Today's Monday. I had a very busy day. Uh, for those of you that are working at some capacity, um, it's always hard to get your energy going again after a long weekend, which it was for me as well. But um, I got into gear. You know, I was performing at about 85 to 87 percent of capacity today. Uh, we'll see how that goes through the rest of the week. Um, real quick. Uh, my viewership numbers were down, meaning how many people watch my video and I'm trying to figure out why that is. So I'm going to start tweaking when I post my video, maybe adding some better content to my video. Uh, I know the last couple since like the end of last week, like even Thursday, Friday, they were all posted very late, like nine 30, 10 o'clock. And I think that's too late. Um, because my understanding of the way Facebook works is, you know, if, if someone sees your video and they comment, then it kind of goes to the top of the feed. If a tree falls in the wood and no one hears it, it'll make a sound. So I think when I post these videos, if I don't get any comments or any views, it kind of falls down in everyone's feed. I guess, I'm not quite sure. If you know the answer to that, let me know. So I'm gonna start posting a little bit earlier in the day with sunlight out for sure. Um, also gonna infuse some, maybe some different content. Um, I also get great engagement. Uh, from you guys when I have guest speakers. So I'd love to hear from anyone else. Anyone else out there right now that would love uh, to, to be on my vlog? Tell us how your 113, 14, 15 days are going. Where are you in your, um, in your journey back to a new norm? Are you there yet? Are you still progressing? Are you as far away from it as you were on day one? You know, let me know how that works out for you. Um, also, Captain's Log, you know, we talk about stuff going on in my house. So we did get my son a phone, as you guys know, for graduation. And I had thought that's it. Once you get him a phone, you'll never see him again. That actually hasn't been true. He hasn't been on the phone that terribly much. Um, from time to time, he'll be, you know, buried deep in his phone, Instagram, that kind of stuff. But for the most part, he hasn't been on the phone that much. Um, but he's on his computer more than he was, you know, during school, obviously. It's summertime. Uh, we try to limit it, you know, no computers until at least after four o'clock in the afternoon, no electronics, no TV, no nothing until after four, you know, two hours, uh, screen time, and then maybe three on the weekends. He's maximizing that for sure. Uh, he is engaging with his friends and whatnot, but I thought, you know, once we got him the phone, it would shift. He'd get away from his video games and get more on the phone, but that hasn't been the case. So I don't know, any of you out there that have teenagers or college kids and, and 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 I'm talking male or female but really with video games maybe more towards the boys and men um is that just something they do are they just on their video games all the time um I've got a client of mine who's got uh kids graduated from college in between opportunities right now because of covid uh he says they're on video games all day all night um is that the norm? Am I just now being exposed to it? I hope not. Not a big fan of it myself, but it is what it is. And uh, he's home under our roof, which always makes my wife and I happy versus out roaming the streets like I did when I was his age. Uh, one of the things I found online today, which I thought was pretty cool, this is a chart of you know, Corona risk, right? COVID risk and yellow being the least riskiest and medium risk and a higher risk. And this red one in the corner being the utmost highest risk situation you can be in. And I've seen a lot of these charts. I'm sure you have too. Uh, uh, bar charts and pie graphs and all kinds of good stuff. This one just was super easy to read. 
Um, and I like the color coding of it. So um, not sure if I can post it online, but it was from informationisbeautiful.com. And as you can see in the yellow over here, you have things like takeout food, outdoor exercise, golf, tennis, uh, camping, which we're going to do, which I thought um, is great that camping is low risk. But here's the other one that uh, I liked as well. Uh, vacationing with another family. <laughs> so we're going to do two. We're going to we're going to camp and vacation with another family. So that's pretty cool. As you start getting into here, the more uh, darker orange, you're looking at staying in a hotel, getting a haircut, public pools, indoor dining with friends or at restaurants. And then as you get over here to the dark stuff, now we're talking movies, sporting events, church, indoor bar, and this one right here in the corner, the darkest color they have, which is red, is a nightclub. Nightclub is by far the riskiest situation you're going to put yourself in. And then down here, it talks about social distancing, wearing a mask, and washing your hands. So I think if you add that, it, it's adding a layer of protection all the way across. Anyway, I just thought this was a cool chart. I've seen a lot of them. This was easy to read. I printed out a couple. We're going to put them around the house. Um, we have to start getting back to our new reality. And I think knowing that we can go to the beach and feel okay about it or going on a picnic outdoors and being, being okay about it, I think is great. Uh, we're going to try to camp next week and I'm not sure how I'm going to do my videos. I'm going to figure it out. I might have to climb a tree or drive to the nearest street, but I'm, I'm going to get these videos out. I'm going to keep our, our streak alive. Right now we're at day 113. Uh, we're just going to keep it going until we squash this COVID. Anyway, today's Monday. Thank you so much for watching. Monday can be a fun day. 415 together, 415 strong, 415 Kino cookies. Uh, Detroit, thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.